He thinks I can't see him. Don't even try that. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. So today I've been binging on videos of a guy called Dean Schneider. He was born in Switzerland, he gave up his city lifestyle and moved to South Africa to follow his passion for animals. He purchased some land to rehabilitate and keep wild animals in captivity. No tourists are allowed and no are animals bred to be sold. He does swear sometimes so you know just a heads up in case you watch his stuff as a family. The three cool things that really caught my eye from his unusual and let's face it envious rapport with the king of the jungle. Yeah I mean how cool would it be if you just rolled up with the king of the jungle or just just uh, rubbing his mane. I imagine it feels like stroking my cumble to be honest. If you're Asian you know what I'm talking about. All right so the three things are number one love and time. Yeah with love, time and loyalty you can win over even the king of the jungle. Now this is a lesson for friends, parents and partners that sometimes we give up too easily but we fail to take into account that we have invested very little face-to-face -face time in the relationship and we haven't really demonstrated our loyalty through thick and thin. And what he does is he emphasizes on this fact, Yeah, he visits them regularly and whether it's raining, whether it's dark, whether they're feeding, even when they get a bit violent he still sticks by them yeah and this is an animal. Number two the power of conditioning. If we can condition a lion to curb its nature then media and other powers can also condition you to go against your nature of obeying the creator as well. Sometimes we tend to blame religion when in reality we have to be objective and acknowledge that there are many forces at power that are taking our faith from us and the quicker that we realize this the quicker we can counteract these forces and save our Iman. All right so number three is motivation. Yes seeing this is incredibly motivational. You can get the most surprising results as long as you are consistent, you're dedicated and you put your fears aside <laughs> occasionally. Yeah it doesn't have to be all the time and as you saw with him consistently going, visiting them, dedicated yeah even when he gets scratched on the face and on the leg and you know sometimes it can be a bit risky but you have to really show faith. All right guys so these were just some interesting thoughts I got from observing his relationship with the animals. Yeah just remember that Allah has put them there as a sign and there is much that we can learn from them. All right guys until next time Assalamu Alaikum